What are your goals and expectations for the upcoming season? Um, the, the guys on the team want to go to the NCAA tournament. We think uh, last year we came pretty close. We went to the conference championship and uh, you know thought we might have you know been in contention for a pool C bid. So we came pretty close a couple couple ways, and you know, I think one way or the other, that's the goal that the guys have set for themselves this season. Who are the key losses from last year? Uh, we lost six starters to graduation. Three of those guys were our starting defense, and Zach Burkhart and Paul Newman played you know. All four years they started at defense, and uh, Andrew Richardson did a great job starting in his senior year. Um, and then in the midfield, you know, every one of our first line middies last year actually had over 50 points. So, you know, you lose two thirds of those guys in, in Greg Bourne and Chris Rios, and then um, Devin Colgrove at attack, uh, you know, well, led our team in assists. Every year he was here, so you know, those are the six guys we're going to miss the most. Who are your key returners? Um, you know, we return. Um, Tom Kramer in the goal, who was an All-American last year. Um, you know, and even though we graduate our entire close defense, we returned both of our starting long stick middies and Chris Santina and Alex Phillips and uh, our short stick D middies in um, John Gamber and Eric Geyser. So we think we have a lot of our defense back, just not at the, the close defense spots. Um, and then again, Eric Geyser facing off with, with Kyle Horak. Both those guys had uh, really high face off percentages last year. So you know, hopefully we'll uh, you know, win the face-off battle again. Um, and then in the midfield, you know, Tate Rowland is one of those midfielders that was on the first line last year that's back. Um, and then at attack, you know, we, we return three guys that all played a lot last year. So even though we lose Devin, we get our, our next three scorers at attack back and in uh, Spencer Love and, and Nick Staley and Blake Gredzian. Who are some of your key newcomers? Um, we, we've, you know, Knowing that we were going to graduate our defensemen, we brought in some some close defensemen that we think are going to be uh, competitive right away. And Joey Lucas and David Grant and Joe Cooper, those guys all had good falls, and they're going to be competing to play. Um, and then Nick Mattis is a long stick midi that will hopefully, you know, add a little bit more depth at, at that position. Um, and then at attack, you know, we we think Garrett Olds is is pretty promising, and he could compete to to get some minutes at attack as the year goes on. What are your thoughts on your schedule, both non-conference and in CAC play? Uh, we, we, you know, spent a lot of time on our schedule. You know, we, we think last year that our strength of schedule uh, is probably what prevented us from getting a pool C bid to the NCAA tournament. So we knew we had to beef up our schedule a little bit. So, so we added, um, you know, three teams that were all regionally ranked in the South. Two of those teams went to the NCAA tournament in um, in Swanee and and Arsinus, and then. Uh, you know, Messiah is the third team. So, so we, we added three teams that we think will really take care of our um, our questionable strength of schedule from last season. So we are out of conference schedule tougher, and then uh, you know our our in conference schedule speaks for itself with just how competitive the conference is.